So today we got a bunch of new leaks for the next update of Anime Defenders and I think this update is actually going to be releasing in a few days and we're finally gonna see most of these stuff happen and yeah let's get on with this video now before that guys i just want to inform me that we are going to be doing a 60,000 gem giveaway at 5,500 subscribers and we are very close to that goal right now and if you want to be part of this 60,000 gem giveaway all you have to do is to like and subscribe and also to join our discord down below and yeah i also do raid carries on my discord occasionally so if you want to you know get some raid carries get some infinite carries and if you want to play with me and also if you want to be updated of my latest videos and don't forget to join my discord so yeah let's get this video started okay Okay, so first and foremost, the number one thing that I think you guys should know is this next update is going to... I think the biggest thing in this next update is actually going to be the new gem method. Now, when I say new gem method, the next update is going to have this new game mode called Tower of Eternity. And apparently, it's going to be the new game mode that's going to make players um, use it and, you know, instead of farming gems. Hopefully, this is actually going to be... Uh, something that changes the way we play the game because right now I've I've been seeing so many people with way too much gems and I think it's because of the alt situation I think they really need to do something to combat the alt situation right now and yeah um the update for that or the thing that they're trying to do to combat the alts is we're gonna see that in the next update so we are going to see a lot of things change in the next update and also a new game mode for gems but that's a video that i that's a topic that i already covered in a previous video today we're gonna cover about the new leaks okay some latest stuff that we are going to be seeing and these one are actually going to most likely be real because other youtubers like moss king already made a video about it so this one right here is actually water breathing. So I already showed you earlier um, the in the art sneaks. This is probably going to be water breathing. Again, this update is probably going to contain demon slayer elements or demon slayer stuff. But um, apart from that, there's actually more. Okay, there's more. So right here, um, you can see these are again sneak peeks. So this one is going to be a new map. Uh, this I think is going to most likely be the Tower of Eternity. And yeah, as you guys can see, Wise, which is the owner of the game or one of the owners of the game, this is most likely going to be the Tower of Eternity game mode. And then right here we have, um, yeah, this is going to be Jujutsu Kaisen because this update is actually going to include Jujutsu Kaisen stuff as well. And proof of that is actually going to be this right here. And as you guys can see, that is literally hollow purple. And I don't know why this is purple instead of red. But um, yeah, it's going to be um, hollow. Pur this is hollow purple. Obviously, Gojo is going to be in this update. I think um, Gojo might be another secret that's going to be releasing in this update. And then we also have this. Now, this, I don't know what this is. I believe this is going to be a new raids. We are probably going to have new raids because there might be raids for um, for obviously there's going to be cursed. Uh, there's going to be demon slayer stuff. So there's probably going to be raids for that. And here is some more VFX leak of the new units that we're probably going to be getting. And then here, I think we're going to get two story mode maps again. Because in the last update, we actually got two story mode maps. And today, it looks like we're going to get two story mode maps as well. So one is going to be Jujutsu Kaisen based. Now, well, that's actually kind of weird because we do already have a Jujutsu Kaisen map in, in here right now. So if you actually come over here, we have Cursed Academy. But um, we're also going to have another one. We're also going to have another um, Jujutsu Kaisen based map here. Or this could be the Demon Slayer, okay? It could be Demon Slayer, but there is two maps, okay? There's one Frozen map, and then there's also another one right here. And yeah, I think this could be both from Demon Slayer. And then this one's most definitely going to be the raids. Um, we, are, we are going to be getting raids in this next update. And then, right... Um, Wait, where is it? Right here is going to be the new game mode, which is going to be Tower of Eternity. And then here are some more of the, the units that we are going to be getting. Okay, so I talked about all the new stuff that's going to get added, but let me, let me now give you my thoughts on this next update because I think it's a pretty great update, but um, there are still some things that are kind of missing in this game that I want to see get added. And number one is actually going to be new ways to get trade rerolls because I only have or actually getting trade rerolls is very difficult in this game that's the honest truth getting trade rerolls in this game is very difficult which is why a lot of people don't have all might and I get it okay it should be hard to get however I think adding a battle pass mechanic that will give a lot of rerolls is actually gonna be good and maybe adding a game mode specifically for rerolls as well is also gonna be good I think that's gonna be perfect and you know speaking of rerolls um, the rerolls in the shop is actually 3,999 robux it's super expensive and even the super lucky for 150 robux is super expensive but don't worry the sponsor of today's video 
has your back. Kinjo is an amazing app that ranks the best quality Roblox games. When you play higher ranked games, you earn Kinjo points. Earn enough Kinjo points and redeem them for real life Robux. Make sure to use my referral code KM4DJH when signing up to earn 300 Kinjo coins for free. And also guys, don't forget to use my Kinjo referral code which is KM4DJH because we are going to be doing a shiny unit giveaway if 50 people uses our Kinjo referral code. And I think I'm going to be giving away a shiny Prime Carp. I'm most likely gonna be giving away a shiny Prime Carp if 50 people uses my Kinjo referral code. So again, now move on, moving on to my thoughts uh, with this uh, you know latest update. I want to see a new secret unit that will be a farm unit now as you guys can see right now most of the units or the three secrets that we have right now they are mostly damage based so the pro gamer he summons units i think chance king has multi-hit i think chance king does do multi-hit which is why precision is awesome on chance king um curse knight has a debuff and also has a nuke ability I think it would be very great and awesome if we could have a secret unit that perhaps gives gems. Um, I don't know. I don't know which uh, secret unit that could be. Uh, my theory, original theory, was the ramen guy in Naruto could be a farm unit. Okay, the, the the ramen guy in Naruto could be a farm unit because we also do have a leak or sneak of Naruto maps, Naruto based maps. But I think we're not gonna be getting those for now. I think what we're gonna getting, what we're gonna be getting for uh, this update is going to be related with Jujutsu Kaisen and also Demon Slayer. Alright, so I have some more information actually. I have some more uh, information about this update. I think Gojo, which is confirmed to get added, is actually going to be called the Rift Sorcerer. And the Rift Sorcerer is going to be a secret. And obviously, Gojo is going to be a secret. So now there's two Jujutsu Kaisen secrets, Chance King and Gojo, which is actually pretty cool. And yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So Gojo is going to be called the Rift Sorcerer. And then I think the mythics are going to be Beast Sorcerer, Monster Sorcerer, and a bunch of others. So I think we're going to get Todo, um, perhaps Megumi as well, and also... Um, and perhaps maybe even Sukuna, Monster Sorcerer, perhaps that's going to be Sukuna, I'm not too sure. Um, so these, so uh, where did I get this list? Somebody just gave me a hint, I'm not going to say who. But apparently, there is going to be more Jujutsu Kaisen units in the next update. And I'm not going to be showing you who, who's, who told that to me. But apparently, there is going to be uh, more mythics and also a new secret, which is going to be Gojo, most likely. Now, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen. Um, hopefully, if Gojo does get added in the next update, I think he's going to be a time stop unit again. And if he is a time stop unit, that's going to be perfect for leaderboard runs i think it's gonna be absolutely great for getting to the leaderboards for most of pe most of the people yeah that's gonna be it and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you guys for watching peace out